So, hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the MIMICOR, which are the annotation guideline text corpus for corpora for the uh, microRNA mentions in the scientific literature. So, um, uh, can you hear me if I have it here? Okay. Um, what microRNA uh, what microRNA are, are Small endogenous evolutionary conserved uh, molecule of ribonucleic acid. They have been found to be um, post transcriptional regulator of gene expression, and they have been found to be easily regulated in a, a wide array of pathological states. So, for this reason, they've gathered the interest of the scientific community with a large increment increase of the publication in recent years, which obviously uh, can be a problem for the retrieval of the information. And for this reason, already we have different databases which are. Uh, here are some of them, but as you can see, these are just related to some aspects of science. So, mere cancer is for cancer, and relation of microRNAs, uh, mere base is for uh, sequence uh, annotation, uh, peer prediction. So, we have different databases for different things. Um, this what I'm talking to you is part of a project I had while I was in Spain during uh, doing a placement for university. And my project was to build a system for the um, extraction analysis of microRNA from um, uh, papers and to have a network of relations. And in this project I had to do the name identity recognition uh, uh, where I used the where I build the guideline and the corpora for the main core. So, um, are you going? Sorry. Okay. So the guidelines, the guidelines are um, integrates different information from different uh, databases and uh, from reviewers, Mirna reviewers, and um, from PubMed and CBI, etc. are based on the manual for the annotation of uh, chemical entities of the calendar and they are st structured in a, to a three-phase annotation protocol, which basically means you have to define the class, then you can follow some rules, which are the positive, negative, and general, to do the correct label, and then some, some examples. Um, so the class we decide to use are cluster nested multiple specific genera and non-coding in RNA. Here are some examples. And uh, in the manual are de um, described in details uh, each class. So these are the rules, general rules, so how to perform the annotation basically, uh, what to do, every, uh, kind, every type of rule is uh, divided into point, so it's very easily to assess the, the, um, the information. Positive and negative rules are for the um, what to and not to include into the labeling, by doing the labeling, and all of them have um, examples with a check mark for the correct way and cross mark for the wrong way to label the mention. Uh, okay, examples of the annotation and information or exception, for example, for uh, if there are some typos or uh, some error in the text, what to do and how to label. Uh, and then the corpora. So the, this annotation protocol was used to build the, the corpora. We built a, um, a gold and a silver corpora, so a manually labeled one and an automatically derived one. Um, we extracted, we retrieved from PubMed using different mesh queries for microRNAs, different abstract, then um, and restricting the search only to 2016 because uh, so we could use them to then analyze the entire PubMed. Then we checked for false positive because there were different false positive, and uh, we divided this pool of abstracts into two groups. One was used for the gold standard, the other one was used for the silver. And everything is downloadable for download this link. So as the, for the gold standard, the gold, the, the mean core gold, uh, an annotator performed the annotation using a web interface, annotate it, which was used for the calendar. And the data was then downloaded and um, 
parsed and here I don't think you can read it but uh, it's normalized with the PubMed ID we have is for if it's from the abstract or the text the offset the dimension and the class then this is some of the statistics of the corpus uh, it was validated, the, the process of the annotation was validated um, randomly selecting 20 abstracts and then doing again the annotation. Um, uh, then we did the silver corpus, which uh, segmented the synthesis, tokenization, lemmatization of part of speech and chunk target. Then we constructed a um, dictionary using different resources databases and the general plus for the detection of uh, Mirna mention. Uh, with a rule cascade and the dictionary pruning, we labeled the entire of the, the, the Minkor Silver and then we used it uh, to, um, to train um, the NER suite. So these are the statistics of the corpus. And this is the flowchart of the, the NERF suite we performed. We performed it on the Bibliom. We um, obtained it using different uh, methodology of filtering through the entire, to the entire PubMed, PubMed, where we have uh, 57,000 abstracts uh, regarding microRNAs. And the, our model performed, uh, uh, extracted over 4,000, 400,000 um, mention from it. So, just in conclusion, uh, why we are presenting this here? Because we think that having standardized guidelines or uh, at least having something to refer to while uh, building a corpus or while um, constructing guidelines could be useful for whichever entity we are doing it. So uh, we, are, we did this for the for microRNAs basing on, and we based our job, our work on the chemders, so for chemical entities. So this could be useful. And also the, um, the trainer can be used to, to test and name identity recognition um, models. And obviously we would like to have a discussion and confrontation uh, about this work because it's a project that is still ongoing because we are still working on it. And that's it. Thank you very much.